What up techies? Welcome back to our channel. Please like and subscribe for everything technology. We are always up to date on the newest discoveries and technology trends. Scientists just announced the discovery of a massive new structure 60 times bigger than the Milky Way. This is huge news and we know that everyone is eager to learn more about this ginormous object. We need to learn more about this thing and scientists are hard at work trying to figure out what it is. The universe around us is as mysterious as it is expansive. With the advent of space science and the rapid development of technology in this century, scientists have discovered many incredible and downright mind-blowing things in the universe. We are only a small part of our universe, but the things that scientists have figured out are quite incomprehensible to the average person. It is frequently compared to a massive ball filled with galaxies, stars, and other enormous physical objects. However, the universe does not abide by this external perspective. Therefore, stating that it has a mind of its own wouldn't be wrong. The galaxy known as the Milky Way, of which our solar system is a part, got its name from the fact that when viewed from Earth, it appears as a hazy band of light in the night sky, and it seems to be made of stars that are indistinguishable to the naked eye. Our solar system is a part of this galaxy. Recently, astronomers have uncovered something so enormous and frightening that it reduces our own galaxy to the status of a pygmy in contrast to the newfound object. Milky Way is the English translation of the Latin phrase Milky Circle, which means like a tear. When viewed from the surface of the Earth, the Milky Way seems to be a narrow band due to the disc-shaped structure of the galaxy, which is not visible when the galaxy is viewed from above. Until the great debate between Harlow Shapley and Heber Curtis in 1920, almost all astronomers believed that all of the stars in the universe were contained in the Milky Way. This debate, along with the observations of Edwin Hubble, led to the realization that the universe contains more galaxies other than just the Milky Way. Some recent scientific simulations have also hinted at the existence of a dark matter region with some visible stars and a diameter of up to 2 million light years. Our Milky Way is a member of the local galaxies that make up the Virgo supercluster, a component of the larger Alania Kisu Lancaster. Experts estimate that there are between 100 and the same number of planets in the Milky Way's satellite galaxies. Our solar system is about 27,000 light years from the galactic center, in a region known as the Orion Arm, which is in the shape of a spiral shaped concentration of gas and dust called the Sagittarius Radio Source, at nearly 220 kilometers per second. Galaxies orbit a supermassive black hole at various distances from the galactic center. Scientists believe this constant rotation speed conflicts with the Keplerian dynamics. As a result, they have concluded that much of the Milky Way's mass is invisible to telescopes because it does not emit or absorb electromagnetic radiation. This mass is what we now call dark matter. Experts have estimated that the Milky Way is one of the two largest galaxies in the local group, the other being Andromeda, with a mass somewhere between 890 billion and 1.54 trillion times that of our Sun. These findings demonstrate that the oldest stars in the Milky Way are nearly as old as the universe and were likely formed shortly after the dark ages of the infamous Big Bang. It would not be wrong to say that astronomers have a thing for big explosions and collisions as they are constantly competing to find a bigger and brighter one. And what could be better than an explosion produced by two of the most massive objects in the universe colliding with each other almost 730 million light years from Earth? The Journal of Astronomy and Astrophysics recently published a study that included one of the most detailed images of a massive shock wave. Scientists have detected a massive wave in the region due to the merger of these two galaxy clusters. While this cosmic collision is not currently visible to most telescopes, experts have described it as producing a massive wave of disturbance in the area. Abel 3667 is the name given to a mesmerizing galaxy that is composed of two groups of galaxies colliding into one another. Researchers used the Meerkat Radio Telescope Array in South Africa to visualize the radio relics of both halves of the shock wave. This study revealed that the structures are far more complex than previously believed. According to the lead study author, Francesco de Gasparini, a visiting scientist at the Hamburg Observatory in Germany, the shock waves function as massive particle accelerators that accelerate electrons to nearly the speed of light. The waves are threaded by an intricate pattern of bright filaments that trace the location of giant magnetic field lines and the areas where electrons are accelerated. Even though the shock wave was only recently discovered, it actually erupted nearly a billion years ago when the two galaxy clusters that make up Abel 360 were formed. Galaxy clusters are some of the largest gravitationally bound structures in the universe, and when they merge, they release an equally enormous amount of energy. The X-ray micromillimeter detector at Newton found the image. If you look closely at the image of Abel 3667, you'll see that the white color in the center represents a concentration of 550 individual galaxies. In contrast, the red hues on either side represent shock waves formed during this supercluster's creation. 
This discovery is considered a game changer in the field of study focused on elucidating the merger of galaxy clusters. Still, it's far from the only astonishing thing to come out of the observatory's work. Researchers in Huntsville, Alabama, made a startling discovery using the Subaru Telescope and the Multi-Unit Spectroscopic Explorer on the Very Large Telescope at the European Southern Observatory. They found a gigantic, hot, faintly glowing gas cloud in space larger than our Milky Way galaxy. This cloud may have been ripped from a galaxy, but the discovery was a shock because it persisted for so long. This cloud has a mass of about 10 billion times that of the Sun. Ming Sun from the University of Alabama stated that this discovery demonstrates that new surprises are always in astronomy. The study called this an orphan cloud and showed that its temperature ranges between 10,000 and 1 billion Kelvin, which is consistent with the gas found inside galaxies, and therefore solidified the theory that the cloud ripped from the galaxy as it was moving through space. Dr. Sun calculated that a magnetic field can hold the gas cloud together against the instabilities for a long time. Given the mass of this cloud, it is reasonable to assume that it has been doing so for a very long time. The cloud was also spotted in the Abel 1367, or LEO cluster, which contains nearly 70 galaxies, and is located about 300 million light years from Earth. Scientists consider this cloud observation evidence favoring the assumption that the intracluster medium can divest galaxies of their gas, and the data will help them identify other similar clouds in the future. Sometimes the lack of anything present scientists with a greater challenge than the presence of something unusual. In 1981, astronomers from the University of Michigan attempted to create a 3D universe map by calculating the redshifts of many galaxies. As the map took shape, they saw something unusual, a vast empty zone, a roughly spherical region almost 330 million light years wide, staring back at them from 700 million light years away. This space was large enough to hold a billion Milky Ways, and yet it was devoid of galaxies. Since then, many detailed maps of the universe have been created, and we now know that most galaxies are found in the form of long structures called filaments, which wind through the cosmos. These filaments are separated by vast, galaxy-free regions that make up roughly 80% of the observable universe. Most of these regions span 30,300 million light years at their widest points. One of the largest known emptinesses is dubbed the supervoid because of its superlative size. All matter was densely packed together in the early universe like a uniform soup. However, random quantum fluctuations created differences in the distribution of matter. As a result, some areas became denser than others, causing their gravitational pull to be stronger, thereby pulling the matter from less dense areas. This resulted in the existence of voids, which some scientists believe merged together to produce boats. It's astounding to think about how much we still don't know about the universe around us. With each new discovery, scientists can paint a more complete picture of the cosmos, and it's only getting more fascinating with every update. We hope you've enjoyed this brief tour of space science. Be sure to like, comment, and subscribe for more content like this in the future and thanks for watching.